Alrighty, hello sharks, Sniz here, and this is probably not the gear video you were expecting, but as mentioned in a prior video's description, the gear video was in the works, and so for who those for those who who are unaware, I play a shadower. It was originally supposed to be a sub main, but that kind of fell through, and but it did end up liberating due to the fact that one of my friends needed help liberating, so. I got put into- I, I offered my assistance with that. Uh, huge shout out to Jenny and Zong, uh, especially Zong for helping us through the liberation process because that was not easy for us considering how underfunded this character was con considering all everything. And the fact that Jenny was a Kana did not make things super easy. Uh, he has a 50% final damage penalty on top of the fact that you're duoing with a Kana does not make the fight super easy. <laughs> uh, Will was definitely the most struggle of all the runs we relied on a lot of external buffs to get through that fight and um call outs and the, the amount of work that jenny put in and zong's assistance helped a lot so thank you to both of them for helping helping me liberate and helping me helping me help you liberate. Uh, but without further ado i did liberate um my stat is around 44k i don't think i have a no, I do have a four year old. Yeah, 44, 45 ish K stat. Um, the goal with this is just to be a hard Lotus Mule, but um, nowadays, but uh, due to the fact it liberated, I am running C Tenny in a duo party with a uh, guildy of mine, friend of mine, and uh, we recently got an ET, so I will probably include that clip at the end because ETs are always fun to see. Uh, but without further ado, my gear is as follows I run four sets of Puriaz. As you would guess, because it's just a ridiculously cracked uh, set effect for what it is. I got the Afterlands totems because I put myself through that. Because I did have access to Dark Lords of Darkness, but I didn't get lucky with them. Two silvers and a gold doom is not better than this set than these three because they also give a set effect. Um, and also, Shadower has two tertiary stats instead of the normal one. Most classes have like their main stat, which is strength, and then a secondary stat, which is like Dex, but. Uh, Shadower, Kadena, and Dual Blade all have Luck as their primary stat, but also have Strength and Dex as their secondary stats. Either way, I have the Superior Golix Ring, 3 line, 27%. Solid Golix Ring, which will not be used once I get an Oz Ring, because they are making the Oz Ring box changes. And when that happens, I'll just, when I, when I do eventually open a decent Oz Ring, I'll just promise swap out the Solid, because I have no reason to use that. But it's 24% 17 starred. I have a Dawn Guardian Angel Ring, 27% uh, 17 starred. The Reboot Vengeful Ring is only also used because, you know, it's double prime. And I do believe because it's double prime, it's slightly better than the Solid Golix Ring, but I'll have to double check that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it is, especially since it has more attack. Just less stat, but more stat on that. My cup is pretty decent, 76 and 3. Wish it was 76 and 5 or 6, but you know. Is what it is. We'll get to familiars eventually. My superior Golix pendant is just double prime, 24% luck. No, no third line. Um, average flame. Uh, 19 star dominator pendant with 27% luck, and then pretty decent flame. It's average. And then the Genesis weapon, which I just recently uh, acquired. Tier six attack, tier five damage, and tier six luck. Roughly equates to tier six attack and tier uh five boss roughly don't quote me on that it depends on your ratios has a mag lotus soul and currently is two line boss one line attack 70 boss 10 attack um for the potential the golix superior engraved golix belt is 21 starred 27 percent luck and uh 12 and 4 for the flame this is one of the better items on the character my royal assassin hood or the cra hat is uh 21 starred 52 and 5 and 30 percent luck that was the first three line i saw i don't think i even saw 24 percent like double prime and then the best item on this character is the berserk it is 22 starred decent flame 84 and 5 uh potential needs work but i'm not going to work on it any further because there's no need to but it is 23 percent luck um yeah, I it was this was originally 21 starred, which I like balls to the wall did um prior to the Will Lib mission. 
because we I needed to scrounge every little bit of damage as I could to like help us get through P3 because we were struggling in P3. Um, granted, that was also just a hands check, but more damage made it easier. Um, I do think I have a video on this item dropping, but this was the magic eye patch I got a while back. The flame could be really good if that four speed was something else, but it's not. It's 17 star currently, and I have no plans of pushing this further. The main reason is because I don't have an eye patch on my main that is done. And if I were to push this to 21 or 22 and it were to succeed, and my main to still not have one, I'd be kind of peeved. So I'm gonna quote unquote save my luck, save my RNG for the eventual 22 eye patch for my main before I even attempt to touch this one. 21 CRA top, 21 luck, uh, okay ish flame. 21 pants, 27% uh, luck for the pod and 52 and 6, decent flame. Uh, the arcane shoes are 18 stars, 30% uh, luck, 66 luck and 6% six all, 6 all stat. 120 equivalent ish, almost 130. Uh, superior Gullix earrings are 21 starred, 24% and 3% all stat flame. 18 star. Uh, Shoulder, arcane shoulder with all, all three line all stat, 24% all stat. Um, 18 star arcane gloves, 84 and 4 flame with one line crit damage, one line all stat. The emblem is one line IED, two line attack, 18 attack, 40 IED. This is this is an old character, does have access to the ghost ship exorcist badge. It, the ghost ship exorcist badge is only 12 stars because uh, the badges don't gain attack past 15 stars, unlike every other item in the game. They only gain stat, so I didn't see a reason to push it, and it wasn't necessary at the time. But you know, grand scheme of things, it probably would have been smarter because it's just extra stat. It's like 30 extra stat or something, or 40. Three line, 27% luck. I do have the seven day monster parker uh, medal for the 10% IED. My secondary is technically double prime, but it was made back when 30% was considered a prime line, or 30% boss was considered a prime line, so it's the ugliest double prime you could have, I feel. 70% uh, boss, 9% attack. 19 star arcane cape, uh, 68 luck, 6% all stat flame, and 24% all stat uh, potential. And then my heart is 30% luck, 15 star. It's a glimmering one droid heart. I do not have the nice android that gives you um, attack bonus, like a five attack bonus. But like this was like like I said, this is a very old character that was made ages ago. Um, I don't really have much else to share on it. Like this is where its potentials are. Um, I did see that Zong Zero by Divide did make a video covering the majority of his accounts, or majority of his characters on his account, and I was thinking about doing something similar, just not for this week. Maybe next week I'll do that, or I'll cover boss mules or something. I I'm not quite sure just yet. Uh, but for my familiars, I have 20 boss, 30 IED, and 20 IED. Uh, this was primarily made to be a farming character, so after I got the large drop uh, bam, I did push a few more uniques, I think, and then I realized, wait, I don't need 10% item acquisition. On a farmer so i just stopped farming i stopped using the familiars on here and start funneling them all to my main uh which that gear video will eventually come out not sure when though uh other than that legion is the same as you would expect i'm nearing 9.5k legion uh yeah Ooh, closer 84 levels away um yeah we'll go over this in more detail when i go over the entirety of my account though uh, links aren't even on this character right now, um, but yeah, so next upgrades for this character since it is technically a mule, the only thing I plan to fix before moving on to the next mule is the weapon potential. I do want two line attack, one line boss, or three line attack. This I have so much boss damage. I think even right now without, yeah, without familiars out and without um, uh, link skills on, I have over 400% boss, which is ridiculous. Especially since I don't carry a Roar 4 or, or any other super big attack percent buff. Way too much boss. So I'll get rid of a line of boss on my weapon in hopes of getting an extra line of attack. If it's 40% boss and 20 attack or 23 attack and 30 boss, I really don't care. Um, but I would like the extra line of attack and then I will be, I will feel comfortable in saying this character is done funding wise. Uh, 
bossing wise it can obviously do all the liberation quests solo so that means everything up to Vihila by itself, hard Vihila included, even though Vihila loses a health bar in the Liberation mission, I know I can do it solo uh, with the extra health bar attached. Um, I don't... I, I do have to get, uh, boss content. Other bosses, notable bosses that I can do are... It can probably do Chaos Dark Nail by itself. That's a prob That's a very big probably, though. Um... I've done it. I've done Hard Dark Nell uh, once, I think, but that was in a party. And then uh, Hard Dark, but like Hard Dark Nell should be doable. Hard V Hill is definitely doable, and even though it's rated higher on the scale, uh, I don't necessarily know if I agree with that rating <laughs> personally. Sea Gloom is definitely doable solo, but as I said before, I've been doing Sea Tenny bosses in a duo. Um, if I didn't have access to G skills, this would not be reasonable. But I could still do. Lotus and Damien by myself without G skills. Yeah, I don't agree with this rating at all either. Hard Lotus is harder mechanically, but it has way it ha you have way more damage uptime on it compared to the Damien. So Damien ends up becoming a harder boss just because you don't have as many windows to damage it, and it takes much longer. You'll end up being able to solo Hard Lotus before you can solo Hard Damien just due to the damage requirement being different for both. Hard Lucid is also soloable, and so is Hard Will. But again, I do those in a boss. I do Hard Lu Will and Hard and C10E uh, with my guildie. Um, and we've already gotten one. We, we just started this week doing those bosses together as a duo, and we already got a drop. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to share. I did familiars. I guess I can show you the links that I would use, but like not equip them. Uh, these are the links I use. It's whatever. Uh, Shadower has very high innate crit rate, so you don't need a lot of crit. Great. I only use Focus Spirit and then the rest just comes from a Legion. Uh, my IA is 20 boss, 15 may, so if I were to get a third line, it'd be the abnormal status monsters. If I were to ever roll that, that's gonna, I'm gonna, if I roll, it's gonna be past New Age when uh, unique lines have like twice the chance or 50% more likely to appear or whatever compared to currently. I think right now there are 10% chance after New Age that are either 15 or 20. I think it's 15. So I'm gonna wait for New Age to re roll my IA. Um, yeah, I'm at 1370 Arcane Force, but I do not have capped Arcane Force. Nowhere near capped Sacred. I'm not working on Sacred at all. I did a few dailies and then realized I, I just don't want to push this character. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be getting 6 job on it. The only reason I get 6 job on it is just to make the bosses I do currently quicker. But, like, that's debatable too. Um, because you still have to farm for the Mastery Core. You only get the Origin skill for free, and I don't know if I want to dedicate that. Either way, missing four levels of Arcane Force, so I could be 1350 uh, naturally if I max these instead of having to put points into my Hyperstat, which, yeah, I have four points in there right now. There's also some from the event right now that are being granted to me, which is why I'm at 1370, not 1350. 1350 was essential for hitting, uh, for killing Vihila in a timely manner. Uh, still, that run took like 24 or 26 minutes to actually kill it. Um... It's done. It's over. We, Jenny and I both liberated. Uh, that was a fun adventure. Will the last three put up a fight? Uh, not so much lucid, except for my own, my own, myself standing in the way of our progress. Uh, went down to the, my last life for like almost five minutes into the fight, and then had to survive on that last life for the next five or six minutes. To put it in perspective, um, I ran out of the power elixir potions i had to rely on stealing potions from the golems to stay healed up and pink barriers and sakura trees from uh, jenny the kana to stay alive we cleared our first attempt it just wasn't very pretty uh with all that said uh i'll, sh I'll leave you with the, the tea drop and i'll be back next week hopefully showcasing the account or possibly the thunderbreaker but i'm not positive on that just yet because i still have upgrades i want to make on the thunderbreaker before showcasing it but i'll leave you with that bye bye oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Since when... oh i'm missing whatever you are you're good to bring right. it Arc? Oh my god, he's so strong, he's so strong, he's so strong, he's so strong, free ring! Oh! 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 You actually got her! Wait a second. Hey, yo, it's free. I haul any joints in it. And you get another weapon box! Holy Fire. shit, Jerry! No! Oh, 
what the hell? Grand! Yes! Grand! Oh my Grand! god! Oh my god! 